Yo, what's going on guys? We're back with another episode in our full BT6 playthrough and in today's episode It's finally time to get the I like them big. I like them chunky achievement on top of that I forgot to show you what the extra mode of big balloons looks like So let's go ahead and turn on the big balloons and that way you guys can see what that extras modes looks like Um, on top of that We're gonna go ahead and continue our adores temple black border So in the last episode we ended up beating magic monkeys only now we're gonna move on to double hp moab So double hp moabs it shouldn't be that bad. I think we're gonna be continuing with our merchantmen strategy uh, because um, at least with the Mer Merchman, we can make a decent amount of money, right? And I know, guys, I know, guys, there we go. So if you guys were curious on what the big balloons look like, it's just like a blown up version of the balloons. So it looks a little bit weird, and it's definitely not a uh, like an extra mode that I use a lot. But every now and then, it's pretty cool just to, like mix up the like gameplay a little bit. Now, if you guys are curious, like the big balloons mode is pretty fun to use but it's not really good for utility because it's like really hard to keep track of where the, where the balloons are so the other extra mode that we need to unlock is the small balloons mode and the small balloons mode is actually pretty easy to get as well um i think the small balloons is with the alchemist man and blue nautical boy achievement which we get by getting two million pops on our balloon master alchemist before round 100. so it shouldn't be too bad um, it's just, I don't know if we can do it right now. Maybe we'll do it on like, uh, like cubism or when we black border, um, logs. I think those are the two maps that we can actually get the achievement on, right? Actually, you know what? We could actually get the achievement on the map frozen over as well. Because the main thing when you're going for like the alchemist man and blue nautical boy achievement is that you need to get a lot of pops on your tower or on your alchemist. But the only problem is, is like the early game. Like if you uh, like get your alchemist a little bit too late, then you're not gonna be able to get a lot of pops on your Blue Master Al Alchemist by the time you reach 100. The good part about the Alchemist Man and Blue Nautical Boy achievement is that it doesn't have to be played on chimps. Like back in the day, I think it had to be played on, on chimps or maybe it was just my misunderstanding because when I got the Alchemist Man and Blue Nautical Boy achievement on my other account, um, I ended up getting it on chimps. So luckily, I don't know if they ended up ch changing it or if I was just like dumb back in the day, but maybe we'll actually get it on chimps. That way you guys can see how easy of an achievement it, has, or it is to get. Because if you can get the achievement on chimps, you can definitely get the achievement on any other game, game mode, right? All right, round 17, I believe on round 18 is when we're going to be able to buy our merchantmen. And then after we get our first mer merchman, I'm going to play a little bit more on the safe side and I'm going to upgrade this merchman up to grape shot because I mean, Pat Fusty is good, but he's no Chad when it comes to dealing with these early game rounds, right? All right so there's our first merchman. Now let's go ahead and upgrade this merchman up to grape shots as soon as we have enough money. Now 20, here's our grape shots. So now we shouldn't have to worry about any more balloons sli slipping through, right? Um, so the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab myself another monkey buccaneer because we're having more balloons slip through and I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I thought when I played this game mode before, wait, no, I I think we did end up struggling quite a bit. Um, maybe I'll go ahead and grab myself a second great grape shot just to be on the safe side because these balloons have me a little bit worried. So we'll grab ourselves a second grape shot. We don't need to worry about lead balloons because we have our Pat Busty. So we just need another $2,485 in order to buy the Merchantman. Um, on top of that, I need to remember I can't make the mistake of buying a small tower I was almost thinking about like what strategy I should go for, but it's pretty obvious that we should probably go for like a heli pilot strategy or something else that has like a big footprint. Um, actually, you know what? I think I'll just end up going for a monkey buccaneer strategy again. I know you guys are probably getting sick of the monkey buccaneer strategy. It's just we're so close to getting the achievement. I mean, one more wouldn't hurt, right? But, I'm just, but I can't wait until we're done with this, this achievement, guys, because then we can go ahead and swap our hero back over to something different. And then um, also another thing we have to do is we have to get the Adora achievements. And I think I'll get all of the Adora achievements on Impopable because I mean, we're going to be farming on Impopable anyways. So, I mean, it makes sense to go for like the Vengeful Sun God on Impopable, right? It's just going to be a little bit more on the expensive side. Um, all right. So I was debating on grabbing one more Merchantman. I think if we bought one more Merchantman, it wouldn't end up uh, hurting us too bad. If we can't afford to buy the Monkey Pirates by round 40, we could always end up grabbing ourselves, um, or we could always end up selling one of our merchantmen right so there we go there's our fourth merchantman so let's go ahead and grab ourselves another monkey buccaneer 
And then with this last monkey buccaneer, we're going to go ahead and upgrade this monkey buccaneer up to uh, monkey pirates. And this is just to make sure uh, that we can deal with the Moab balloons because we ended up investing a lot of money into our merchantmen. So I don't know how likely it is that we'll be able to afford our monkey pirates. I think we should be able to. But again, if we can't, we can always uh, sell one of our merchantmen, right? All right, round 38. It looks like it's going to be a close call. I think we should be able to afford it um, as soon as round 39 starts. There we go. Perfect. So let's I'll go ahead and buy Crow's Nest. And we'll also have the ability off a cooldown for round 40 and even more perfect. Now, another thing I think I might want to go for is I think I want to go for a second monkey pirates that way we have more popping power for moab balloons but then again we don't have to worry about any more moab balloons until round 50. so at this point in time we're just going to go ahead and buy ourselves a couple more uh, monkey buccaneers and upgrade them up to a uh, merchantman all right round 47 we bought a few more mer merchantmen and now it's time to buy ourselves another monkey pirates so let's go ahead um i need to place this monkey buccaneer inside this little pond but it looks like it's going to be a pixel perfect placement because i messed up the positioning of my towers but it's not the end of the world right so now we need five thousand two hundred ninety dollars for the monkey pirates um so it looks like we're not going to be able to afford it until like round 50 if i'm not mistaken luckily we're making quite a bit of money per round so after we buy this monkey pirates um the next thing i think i want to do is i think i want to start saving up for a pirate lord um and then after we buy our pirate lord um i think another tower that we should go for is like a sun avatar because the sun avatar should be pretty good right um, I'm actually debating on going for the Sun Avatar before we go for um, another, or before we go for the Pirate Lord, because I think the Sun Avatar would be a little bit of a better investment. All right, so let's place down our Super Monkey right here. Let's go ahead and buy Plasma Blast, and then we need to save up $2,160 for the Sun Avatar. And then after we buy our Sun Avatar, I want to go ahead and buff up our Super Monkey with an Alchemist, as well as I want to buff it up with a Village as well. Now, unfortunately, we still don't have enough popping power to like make Moab Balloons easy to pop, so I'm taking advantage of of the uh, abilities actually i say they're hard to, hard to pop but our pat busty with his knockback is actually working really really well but whenever we get the ability off of a cooldown we might as well make our lives a little bit easier by sucking in the moabs right all right round 56 here's our sun avatar and then let's go ahead and buy knockback as well as so let's buy all ultra vision as well that way we can go ahead and knock back a bunch of these ceramic lands so like i was saying the next thing i want to do is i want to go ahead and grab myself a monkey village then i want to upgrade this monkey village up to jungle drums and now that we have a jungle drums um i want this alchemist to only buff the sun avatar so i think if i place it up here it should just be within range yeah perfect so uh, let's go ahead and upgrade uh this alchemist up to stronger stimulant as well as stronger acid and perishing potion and this is going to help out our sun avatar a ton on round 60 we'll go ahead and suck in the bfb and now that we have our sun avatar the next thing i want to do is i want to start saving up for the pirate lord now the main reason why i want the pirate lord is that, that way round 80 is super easy because we can just suck in the crmg on top of that we can also use our pirate lord to suck in a lot of the mo or the bfbs as well man the sun avatar was definitely such a good call right now unfortunately we're still struggling with the reinforced moab balloons so uh, once we get the pirate lord we shouldn't end up struggling too much more i messed up the achievement i messed up the achievement because i bought the alchemist oh no dudes why did i buy the alchemist Ah, oh, dudes, we we're so close to getting the achievement. Why, why did I have to buff the sun avatar? Oh my goodness, guys, I am so dumb. How many times have I done that so far? Well, it looks like we're gonna be getting the I like them big, I like them chunky achievement, and uh, let me see, maybe the alternate balloons rounds F episode. I think we should be able to do it in all alternate balloon rounds. Like, there's no way that we're going to be able to do it in half cash mode, but alternate balloon rounds should be viable, right? Man, how many times have I done that so far? And it's not like I... Oh my goodness. And it's not like I needed to do that, right? I'm so dumb. And I swear, guys, I'm not doing this on purpose. I just get, like, so wrapped up in, like, uh, like playing like playing the game that i forget about that dumb achievement like we could have already had the i like them big i like them chunky achievement like so long ago right all right so the only thing i'm doing now is i'm grabbing the robo monkey um i think i'll grab myself another robo monkey uh because uh with the pirate lord and the sun avatar up, up, up here like there's nothing else that we really need to buy right like now that we have the robo monkey down here we have the pirate the pirate lord as well as we have the avatar 
there's nothing that we need to worry about like slipping by so i'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to round uh, 79 and i'll bring you guys back on round 79. also just in case you guys are wondering i'll pretty much be sucking in any bfbs that i can see by using the monkey pirates as well as the pirate lord all right guys round 79 uh, let's go ahead and suck in this reinforced bfb balloon and then round 80 the last thing we have to do is suck in the zmg and there we go, dude. So we have officially beaten double HP Moabs on Adora's Temple. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get the I like them big, I like them chunky achievement because again, I ended up messing up and we're not going to be getting it in the next episode either because the next episode we're doing half cash mode. So we're going to be going with like our Sada strategy and we're going to be messing around a little bit more with farming. But anyways, dude, so that's going to do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, if you guys are new around here, don't forget to subscribe as well because I do upload daily B6 content. But anyways, dudes, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.